just after the incident that happened early hours of the day in Imo State, where the Imo State police headquarters was attacked, and the federal prison in Owari was also uh, attacked, blown up, and um, inmates set free. Suspected hoodlums again on Monday shot sporadically at MCC Junction in Owari Metropolis. The shooting, which happened at about 5 p.m. this evening, was said to have forced passers-by, as well as traders to scamper for their safety. Many motorists drove roughly out of the venue. Commuters waiting for buses to go home all ran away for their lives. It was also learned that vehicles on noticing what was happening turned away to other adjoining streets. However, as at the time of filing this report, normalcy was said to have returned back to the area as businesses and vehicular movement had started again. A non-government caused massive scare in the city and town of Oweri just this evening after the blowing up of uh, the Nigerian prisons or correctional service as it is being called in Oweri earlier in the day. Nobody could ascertain the identity of this unknown gunman as at the time of filing this report. But reports has it that there were shootings, uh, sporadical shootings in the city and metropolis of Oweri that sent lots of people into hiding. Lots of people scampering for safety, running around, just not to be caught up in uh, the wave of uh, stray bullets. It is sad and unfortunate that um, the safety of the people is no longer guaranteed in the southeastern part of the country. In this report, there are scare that Imo states might just eventually turn into Sambisa Forest in the northern part of the country. Uh, shootings and all what have you have continued. People are no longer assured their safety. People are scared as to what is going on in the country. Just again, in another news, unknown gunmen have again attacked a military checkpoint this evening, today, in Epony State. The attack which happened at the army checkpoint in Shilu axis of the state, we gathered that since the beginning of the year, the Ezra people are fighting for lands and killing themselves. Including the headsman issues that the state have been battling with in the last and past couple of days. There is so much tension in the state right now. Nobody is assured of security as nobody knows what will happen or what can happen. Well guys, it is what it is. That is the situation of things right now in the country and in the southeast especially. Nobody for sure knows exactly what is going on and what will eventually happen. People are scared. People are not sure of what will happen to them. The security of people, of the lives and property of the people in the southeast is now under serious uh, scrutiny as it is. Who will rescue the people of the southeast from this menace? Who will rescue them from this particular situation? There is serious fire on the mountain. Unknown gunmen attacks has you know, taken over the southeastern part of the country as various different attacks has been confirmed and is seriously ongoing according to news reports that we have as it is. Well, it is what it is, guys. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. There are serious issues on ground that the country is facing. Despite the activities of the Boko Haram and all what have you in the northern part of the country, the situation in the southeast is getting tensed and is gradually um, looking similar to what is happening in the northern part of the country. The question is, why and how did we get or fall into this situation? How did we find ourselves 
in this particular situation? How do they find themselves in this particular um, area? It is what it is, though. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Nobody knows what is next. The identity of the unknown gunman is uncertain. Nobody knows. They keep saying people in black attire. And according to reports, they said these people came around, they sang and danced for over 30 minutes. They sang and danced for over 30 minutes in that particular situation or location. And nobody, no security personnel also was able to come around to uh, handle the situation before they attacked the police. They attacked the prison facility, left there, they went to attack the uh, police station, the, that's the headquarters, which is just very close by. Then after that, they attempted to bust into the government house before they eventually left. So that tells you the precarious situation in the country right now as we speak. This is really, really uh, a very, very strong situation, if you ask me. Now, where do people run to? Nobody is guaranteed safety anymore. Nobody is guaranteed any situation as it is. There are serious challenges, there are serious issues, there are serious concerns that is being raised. Nobody knows who is next. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. The government will have to uh, wake up to their responsibility again and address issues in the country. The government would have to go back to the drawing board to see how they can get things uh, fixed so that attacks like this does not come again, does not happen again, or does not continue. Because nobody is sure of the next state that might be attacked. Just as we are hearing that, Abia State has already declared a curfew just to forestall any form of uh, movement and attack in the, uh, in the country. But be that as it is, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts, guys? Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.